Good morning, buenos dias, feliz navidad, but not really. It's not Christmas, Maggie, but it might as well be because we're alive today and we're on a vegan hunt for your pelota, for your ball. I've been eating Atolfo mangoes, but the Tommy Atkins are finally looking good. Let's try them out. It's so easy to take this stuff for granted. When I was in Alaska and Canada, I mean, the concept of a mango just didn't even exist. Mmm, delicious. Such a different flavor than the Atolfo. So good. Getting in that heat training, huh, Max? It's hot out here. And we usually take the bridge up there. There's a little sidewalk for Maggie to go on, but today I wanted to take the road less traveled and hang out under the bridge, go explore, see if there's anything cool. It was a great time, just sat under the bleachers there, hung out with everyone. Maggie's a mascot in town. Everyone knows Maggie, everyone loves Maggie. They know she's friendly, she's playing right now, she's trying to chase the soccer ball. Such good vibes, I feel like such a local. I've been here, I think I've been here more than two months, I don't even know. Oh, nice Maggie. She can't bite the soccer ball though. That's too funny. <laughs> yeah, Maggie. Now are you gonna stay here like my princess while I go shopping for our food? I'm gonna buy us a lot of vegetables, Maggie. Zanahoria, calabaza, cebolla, ajo, pero peros no puede comer ajo. Don't give dogs garlic, that's what you guys have been telling me. Okay, I'll be back in one minute, Maggie. All right, I'm good with fruit. Definitely need some plantain. You're a perfect little girl. She came in a few times to say hi to us and everyone was cool. And then I gave her the stink eye and she came back and guarded the bike. Okay, what did we get? This is a small order. Platano, mucho, calabaza, uh, zucchini, zanahoria, poquito lechuga, lettuce and cabbage, some maseca, y ahora necesito ir a un otro mercado para camote, sweet potato. Here's my little setup for an Instagram post. This is just like some of everything I got. I actually bought about double as much as what is here, but this is beautiful for the photo. We got nopales, cactus, calabaza, ginger. I found ginger, I've been looking for it. We got a lot of new stuff today. Walnuts, raisins, 
oats and soy milk. I am going to be hitting up overnight oats every day this week. I'm so excited. I'll put some recipes of my overnight oats later. Platano, uh, camote, oh, such a nice fruit haul. Maggie's nice and wiped out, which means that I get to actually do my work uninterrupted for a couple hours. Usually I like edit for 10 minutes, play fetch for four minutes, edit for 10 minutes, play fetch for four minutes, and I get up from my chair and get out. Sounds like a bunch of complaining, right? Uh, no, I love it, I appreciate it, but Think about it. I live on a bicycle, so my body's already pretty whack. I like to exercise. I work on a farm, which is essentially constantly bending over and lifting heavy things. And then when I have to get up out of my chair and back down and play fetch, my body is, and bike eight miles with all of that, you know, 40 pounds of food. All I'm saying is that my body likes to rest because I rarely rest. So when Maggie's tired, I am happy because I get to rest as well. Just takes a few days of eating healthy and not just eating recklessly and moving your body a little bit. I don't have a gym, I'm not like doing crazy lifting, just slacklining, picking stuff up. And I honestly had some, some thickness to me just even a week ago. So quickly, you can change your diet and lifestyle, just stop doing your bad habits. I was eating late at night, fatty foods, tons of peanuts, peanut butter, just because it was fun and I didn't feel good doing it physically, not even just the mental stuff, like not even in an eating disorder way. Well, it is an eating disorder way because I was hurting myself. I'd wake up in the morning feeling terrible, hard to sleep. I was just eating that pleasure food at that time. And now upon reflecting on it, saying, Jackson, stop, you like to feel good, not bad. And now I feel really good and of course it looks good but I feel so much significantly better maybe you can even tell it in my energy you get lethargic when you eat too much it's hard to maneuver because your body has to work so hard to digest I'm feeling so good sitting down to some mono meal of naranjas and I just ate a few as well oh look at that look at that focus speed with the new camera loving the new camera and I'm loving these oranges okay Maggie I know you don't like to do this, but it's time to take a shower. Sundays are shower days. I shower once a week on the farm. All y'all are complaining. My hands are so black. They're dirty and black like that because we cook with fire, and so all the charcoal gets in there. It's very hard to dig them out. You'll see, after I shower and scrub them, they won't even be that much cleaner. It's fine. Just when I leave the farm, it'll change. My hands are always changing. I looked at my legs, then on first glance, I was like, oh, they look good. I can't even see dirt. And then I looked closer and they're actually covered in dirt. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go take one of those showers. <laughs> Yo mire el video de Zoe de Infinito. MTV? Si. Sí. So good. Like muchos personas, un grande banda. Awesome. Yes. Then oh, that feels amazing. Look at me. Do I look cleaner? I cleaned really hard. I even took a like spiky sponge loofah thing and scrubbed. Oh, it's still kind of dirty. But trust me, I feel very clean, rejuvenated. Maggie's clean. She is such a baby in there. She hates it. She loves playing with water when I turn on the faucet or a hose. She loves water, but she hates the shower. And when we get in there, she just puts on this face like, Dude, you're awesome, like 99% of our life. We have a great time. Why do you take me in here for 30 minutes once a week? This sucks. <laughs> and I have to like lift her up and scrub her belly and all that and she scratches me. Ooh, I bought a nail file today because I need to cut her nails and I don't have like a cutter so I wanna see if I can file them. I'll do that tonight. But that takes like two hours. I have to clean my house because right after I shower with Maggie and then dry her off. She rolls around on the floor because I guess she doesn't like to be wet while she's drying and I have to clean the house really good or else she'll roll over a bunch of dirt. That's why I can't just spray her outside because she will literally roll in the mud directly after. 
Ok, tiempo para la cena. That was my pretty girl that smells so good. And I brushed her. This is the brush that I use. I love this thing. It's called the Furminator. Um, it, this is the type of brush that Maggie needs for her coat. It takes all the undercoat off and it's the most fluffy. It looks like down feathers. The stuff that's under her like coarse hair on top. I mean, it's not that coarse. Um, but I also never have to cut Maggie's hair. I thought that was amazing when I learned from the groomer um, in LA. Her hair is just gonna stay the same length. It's the, it's the longest right on the top of her spine right there. And it's short over there, but I never have to shave her or cut her. It just stays that way. I have to just, every couple days, I take the undercoat off and it's pretty cool. I think she likes it. For those of you who are confused at why I'm so dirty, it's not because I'm lazy. It's because in a span of two seconds, after I'm clean, once I go to cook, you know, once you touch anything on this stove, you're getting char, charcoal all over yourself. So that's why I'm so dirty. It's just a part of how we live here. Got some lettuce today, mango, cubes, aguacate, and wow, just everything, everything. Wow, the beard is real once you start collecting items in there. Impressive, Jackson. Much love, Dream Extreme. Maggie is the softest princess hyena in all of the land. Oh.